Uh, so, um, what's the tree trust then? Because uh, I, I, I kind of combine those together, but that's not what it is, right? Oh, I love that you've asked me that question, Rob. So, tree trust was a program we started last year because we wanted to find a way to help our big trees that are so important to our canopy. You know, everybody's busy planting trees, quite frankly, but nobody is worrying about taking care of our big trees. And so we started this program over a year ago now, and um, we're so people can make a donation um, online and then all of that money goes to hiring a, a tree trust certified or tree trust approved arborist who goes out and works on the tree to help extend its life. And so they do a bunch of things. They take out dead wood and they basically do a thing called um, reducing the canopy. So if you, if you have a very big old tall tree and you can cut off a lot of the limbs at the very top of the tree, then the tree doesn't have to work so hard. Oh. to bring water up to the leaves or down to the food, down to the roots. So it's a way of extending the life of a tree. And that's not and so, something the average person could do. I mean, we can trim the, the ones that are, you know, six feet, eight feet up type of thing. But when you talk about the top of a tree, uh, that would take somebody with some real skills who knows what they're doing to do that. Oh, and yes, and you're exactly right about that. And And not every arborist is the same, right? Like, so we've got... Uh, Bomb Tree Care, who is um, Center Wellington's Tree Trust uh, uh, approved arborist, so he's qualified to do this work. It's very, it's very highly skilled. Like there, you are, sixty feet in the air with a chainsaw in your hand and a saw in the other hand, trying to decide what little limb needs to come off right now to ensure that the tree will be as healthy as possible. Yeah, I, would, I, my experience sorry. was somebody was trying to show me when they, we had an arborist doing that, and they tried to show me what they were cutting out and why. It made no sense to me at all. And I went, <laughs> well, I don't know, I'd cut the branch next to it. They went, no, 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 because can't you see this one's twining in over No, I can't. So <laughs> it takes somebody that really knows what they're doing to do that. It sure does. And so what's exciting for the Lower Environment Center in Neighborwoods is um, there's now three other communities in southern Ontario who loved what we were doing and are now what we're calling our community partners. So we've got the town of Blue Mountain, Stratford, and Toronto Islands, and they are all sort of using our model. And um, and so Thornberry, or town of Blue Mountains, on Friday actually went out and they, they took care of their first tree on Friday, and it was a banner success. We had about 75 people out, including the mayor and three councillors, and there was a plaque. And um, the arborist, um, Boreal is the name of their firm, and there were about five arborists in the tree working all day, taking care of this unbelievably 225-year-old sugar maple on the uh, Georgian Trail, the cycling trail. So it was very exciting. Well, so we are so me. glad that the attention to these trees are now being taken because, uh, you know, it, it, we, we, they they provide us so much that you just can't take them for granted. You know, and, and Rob, I just want to add to that. There's a study that says that, you know, I know we all want to be planting trees, and that's exactly the right thing to be doing. But studies show, or a particular study anyway, says that it takes about 280 little saplings equal the environmental value of one of these big trees so these big trees like we cannot be um you can't overstate the value of these big trees to our frankly our environment and our community and the beauty and all that they do for us and and you know they they take way less work than the little ones that you have to keep running it with a pail of water and watering them. <laughs> yeah, and not only do they, t- I mean, the payoff is instant. I mean, these trees are already there providing us a benefit. And uh, I guess, you know, many of us just didn't think once a tree gets older or whatever, does it need any help? And uh, and now we're finding out from people like you that, yes, it does. Yeah. Uh, if the people want to do, uh, you know, a celebration of a tree or if they want to get into a tree trust, uh, where where can they get more information? Okay, so for Tree Trust, it is the it's an easy one. TreeTrust.ca is the name of the website. Pop on there, and you will see some tree stories. You'll you'll learn a little bit more about the program. There's actually a calculator if anybody wants to um, 
basically offset either a flight should they happily be flying or driving or just they want to see a tree protected they can donate and a big part of this too rob is that people get to see their donation like when you donate to this you get to go see the tree you help so so phil was on a tree in fergus on friday and we're going to put a sign on that tree and anybody who donated or anybody frankly can go look at the tree and go wow look at that a Mm. tree has been significantly help so you get to see your donation dollars that work in your own community very nice very nice uh tony thank you very much uh you and the organization and for what you do it's uh it's a value that we we get instantly and we do not want to undervalue that the need to to uh protect our trees and nurture our trees it's just kind of an ongoing event thanks tony oh thank you for your interest i'm really grateful to have an opportunity to tell everybody about this okay thanks tony Thanks.